Hello, hello. I am here. I think I'm here. Pretty sure I'm here. Hi, I'm here. The time of night. A minute late, but I'm here. Yep. I could be here. It could be a figment of your imagination. Yeah, let's get the night started. So, we got a chat full of boys, chat full of people tonight. Two, three, four. Atrus. One. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we have Atrus, we have Fleshbat, we have Buckwild, Drac, Pazar, Sidrea, Shellcran, Taylor Bud, Van Herkins, Earth. We almost have more people in voice than we do in stream. Wow. I remember, y'all, if you are trying to support the stream and you have out and you mute the actual stream in Twitch, it takes you away as a viewer. There are other ways around that that I cannot mention in stream, but there are other ways around that, such as muting the tab in the browser. And hint, wink, wink. But if you mute the actual stream itself, it doesn't show you as a viewer. Okay? So please keep that in mind, whether it's me or another streamer you're trying to support. If you mute the stream, you don't count, and you're not showing, giving them any support. All you're doing is using up your resources. And as much as DU is a resource hog. But. So. I was working on a little something I had an idea on earlier. I don't know what it was. But it was something. And my brain went for it. So. Yeah. Oh. That's what I was doing. I was doing an S-Core lift. That was space atmo using the script. Basically, a Mr. Lifty that was space and atmo. And I was doing something a little different with it. But yeah, there we go. Okay, so let's get going. We're going to unmute voice, say hi to everybody, and get the stream going for the night, okay? I don't know. What's Hello, going on? people. What's up? What's up? Hello. Hello. What you mean hey, you don't know what's going on? going on? They don't. They don't know that they got moved. Uh, literally, said uh, ninja them down here. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I know. She got that ninja level skill. Who's got a problem with my ninja skill? She she, she, <laughs> she left me all alone though. I was like, oh, I'm gonna get left up here now. Now oh, people I... know why I used that image for the Raya. <laughs> you got the was... mad skills, huh? Got that mad ninja skills. So I am working on Mr. Lifty Part 2, the Space Atmo version of Mr. Lifty. Nice. Where did you park, Cage? I'm up on top, actually. Oh, I see. I should have known the orange one. <laughs> the only orange one on my pad. <laughs> yeah, if you see an orange one with an AGG, you know it's me. Um, I was going to say, you want to give me rights and I can just throw it in your container? Okay. AB wants to know why you don't sell him Oradrax. Huh? Well, then I'm under it. KB wants to know why you don't sell him more. Oh, I don't have a... Come on, I'm gonna bring up the stream. I couldn't. It pushed me off. KB never said that he bought Or. Oh, I hear is, a miscommunication. He, he's more than welcome uh, to message me. Yeah, I just didn't know you bought or. Uh oh. KV. True thing, Drake fight used to buy more than he had sold. What? Oh, it I said you canceled. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, hold on. yeah. I know what it is. It's because I'm still linked to the damn show. <laughs> nope, <laughs> hey, Pabs. Oh, you got your you got your e ECU on. Yeah, you got to turn that off. You don't need it out here. Okay. No, you don't need it out here. There's no gravity. Yeah, for some reason my shit. Sarah was in a different uh, cool. chat channel. Oh, I'm here. Mm, no, he's, he's here. He's live. He's, I'm here. He's live going. Oh, now, okay, because for some reason I could just hear everybody talking over you. Yeah, <laughs> that happens. That always happens. I'm sorry, I tried not to. I'm not saying anything. 
he was just talking anyway. I was like, okay, yeah. I'm kind of confused. <laughs> KB said, hey, Paz. <laughs> hello, hello. At least one claimed item. That's fine. It's just unclaim it. Let's see. Oh, right, yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. It's just saying, hey, this item's claimed. Oh, what are you building, Sarah? Uh, I'm building Mr. Lifty 2.0 that goes into space. Thank you, buddy. Yep. Sorry, I couldn't do the others. No, it's fine. I'll figure it out. We'll learn it I don't. Know. Yeah, I gotta make sure we're up and running. I think that's what I'm doing anyway. You I think, think I've seen a couple of I don't knows owning things around. Is that you? I don't know. <laughs> no, I don't know is not me. You know? I don't you know, know is uh, Fight Master. Ah, uh, okay. I think that's I don't know. Van, did you get that, by the way? Get what? Check your wallet on your main oh, account. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't have, I'm not on my main. <laughs> okay. But do you want did uh here. I'll miss I miss it you yeah. Okay, so we have a bit of an issue with a Gaia that Mr. Lucifer, uh, Lexifer had today. What's that? Uh there was two settings we had to turn off on it to make it work right without the HUD over freaking out. Leo, what is up? How you doing? Leo the Gamer Girl is a very good, very old friend. Hello, good, very old friend, Leo the Gamer Girl. Yep. Nice used to, to meet play you. play Ark with me. Oh, wow. I haven't played Ark in a very long time. Sounds like I'm being sucked back into it. <laughs> you laugh, but a bunch of people I know are gonna go play art okay. and try this new stuff, and then go to Conan. Art messes with me. Go. <laughs> okay, so Lexifer, are you there? <laughs> art misses me. <laughs> yes, do tell us what's going on. Lexifer, or oh, Lexifer, is here. Okay. So, if you're running the 1.74 script, I'm running 1.743. If you're running 1.744, same thing, okay? Go to edit lure parameters. The two things you want to turn off is make sure should check damage is off. And what was the other one? Collision system. Turn off the collision system. Make sure you have use these settings at the top set selected. Turn off those two things and it should help a lot. Especially the collision system. And make sure vanilla rockets is turned on if you have the rockets on it. Uh, there are other more scary dinos. Back when we played Ark together, it was literally the island and Scorched Earth. That was it. Well, I'm off to bed. Good night. Good night. Later. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Is that you, Van? Oh. Yeah, you want to turn off the collision center and make sure the... Uh, should check damage is turned off, okay? Also, make sure you set your handling skills right. That does actually make a difference. 
Stop playing official. What's wrong with official? No mods. Vanilla settings. That's painful. Yep, but that's where most of the action is, unfortunately. I'm not really a big fan of the PvP. Personally, I like it a good challenge. Give me a... Uh, give me Primal Rage mod any day over official. Something else has to be going on around you where you're at, Lex. Do the ships right around you have a lot of scripts running on them? That's not good. That's not good. I died. Because, like, at the <laughs> castle, all the ships you see sitting out here, I make sure there is nothing running on them. If something's linked to something, I turn that shit off. Because I'm not having any problems at the castle with the script. So... The only thing I can think of is maybe it's because you're on 144. Maybe you need to back to, back up to 143. Is the HUD just not appearing for him? Is that what it's crashing? Script um, overload. Does he have radar hooked up? They all have radar hooked up. Disconnect your radar for a little bit. Yeah, I tried disconnecting the radar. Just completely disconnect it. That's what I did on one of mine for a little bit. Interesting. Wait, so he's using Arch Why is he using 144 when he should be 1.7? 1. 1.74 is 4. 1.744 is the one he's using. I'm using 1.743. I'm still using 1. 1739. Uh, if you actually go up to 4-3 cage, you can turn off, uh, Oh, he radar. said ne neither radar is hooked up at the moment. And, um, you can, uh, increase your FPS on most ships because it won't read your radar. Like, your radar's still connected and you can turn it on at any point, but if you have it set to be off, it'll keep your FPSs up. Okay, try that and let me know how it works because I'm curious as to why it's doing that to you there. Because, I mean, I'm at the castle and I'm not having any issues. I'm not going to tickle down that damn Red Dwarf thing. Oh, there's a lot of stuff at the castle. That's what I was looking for. Leo, if you ever want to come hang out in voice, all you got to do is hop into the uh, holding tank channel and we'll drag you down, okay? Right back. Excuse me. All right. Okay, we got 19 people. I'm just going to call it 20 and do the first raffle. Oh, crap. So how I'm going to start doing the first raffle of the night is for every person in chat, it's 500k. So we have 20 people, it's 10 million. We have 40 people, it's 20 million. If we have 60 people, it's 30 million, okay? So the more people in chat when we first start the stream, the higher the initial raffle. Makes sense. Exclamation mark raffle for 10 million quanta. Yo yo. <clears throat> I placed engines there. Why are the engines not placed there? Scrap on this. Okay, now, Mr. Lifty, for those of you who are not familiar with Mr. Lifty, is a rescue ship or a larger construction platform. It is not a cargo pod.
There's only one data bank on the ship. That's the one for the pilot seat. And it's right in front of the pilot seat. Hold on, I'm coming. I know there's a data bank there, is how it keeps the memory for the arc code. But yeah, there's no other data banks anywhere else in the ship. Right there. <clears throat> Gotta be. Uh, it should. Because it was made off the same ship that this blueprint was made off of this one. There was nothing changed but numbers, so there should be a database there. The only thing that was changed in between making the blueprints were the numbers. And this is 12. This was made well after yours. Yeah, mine has that bank in the uh, in it. That's crazy. Maybe it's just not loading for you. So, by the way, y'all, the lottery that we're give, doing right now is for this ship that you just see in chat up there. You get this ship right here. And that includes two of the cargo lifts and two Nimbuses. So you get both the cargo lifts that are docked to it. And you get two Nimbuses. It's mine, can so that's the current lottery. And this one also has the mods on it by Buck Wild, so you have the railing here with the elevators. It's mine. So if you want to buy tickets, the information is in the chat. Right now. It's still mine. Everybody's <laughs> drooling is fine. It saves me from building mine. <laughs> Then you can sell your blueprint to somebody else. I can, I can give it back to you and then we can resell it that way. <laughs> yeah, I do a markup. 50% up, you know? It's a rare yeah. ship. 75 mil for the set. Make a profit. There you go. Make a little bit of money. Hey, I've had people do that before. I wouldn't do it. <laughs> the, um, no, no. Stuff with Sean's trying to win that. Right. 
Who was it? Who, I can't remember what ship it was. Oh, it was the Cobra. Hold on, I'll be right back. I got an issue. The Cobra. Somebody bought, sold one for twice its original price. Token. Hello, hello. Hello. And I'm gonna do something I don't ever do on these, and that's buy ten tickets. Mm. Sure. I can't afford to repair it if I break it. <laughs> can't afford to fly it. Oh, God. Uncle we Uncle have a raid party. <laughs> Uncle Muscle just raided us. Welcome, people. Welcome. Hello. Hopefully, there's lots of VRs on that ship. Well, if there sure. isn't, there will be. You know me. You only need the one VR in, though. That's the nice thing. You can have a hundred people come into the same VR node. Uh, yeah, four okay. VR VR terminals and one VR node. Yeah, and VR node is all you need for people to come help you. So. I have Saga on mine and it runs really well. I actually run better than uh, Archer does. Then Saga doesn't do all the extra collision stuff either. Hmm. So it doesn't like, you know, screw with the radar all the time. Somebody over here just really likes Saga. We're not gonna say who. Someone here loves Saga and it's because it's a very tight little fucking uh, HUD and autopilot. Works a lot Feels better than your Arch does. Feelings mutual. I have Saga on a couple of my ships, but I've never used it on all my ships yet. I'm not a fan of Sagas when you're manually flying. That's my only thing. Why? Works just like Arch? I don't know. I don't like it as much. I like Arch HUD a lot more than I like Sagas when I'm manually flying. Really glad you got it fixed, Lexifer. I have no idea why it would not have one in there. Yeah, that's a new one. I don't know why it doesn't have one. It should have one. Why? It should actually have more than one. No, there's only one on, uh, I gotta on the blueprint, out. just one. Let me see if Yeah, it's just the uh, Hey, did you guys see they actually changed your, what you're keeping on blueprints subtly? What do you mean? So, you know how, remember they launched that thing where it said it, it's uh, a blueprints that are in your name or your org's name you can keep? Mm-hmm. They now say any core blueprint. Core. It has to be a core still, but any core blueprint that you have ownership of. Yeah, Decker said that about two weeks ago. He in a different yeah. in a different forum. That's why you're yeah. it's Somebody in... showed that to me. It showed it was like because I was I was like, they didn't they, somebody was like I they pasted changed it in X V X. Yeah, they, somebody was like, they changed it. I'm like, no they didn't. The last official word was they had to be you or your org owning the blueprint. He like didn't change it. He just cleared up the wording. Yeah. If you watch that last video, it sounds like there is no wipe of any form. Yeah. There is no way they don't have a wipe with injecting trillions of dollars into. Yeah, the there's game. gonna be some kind of tr some kind of wipe. But no, it's not. It, it's not like a thing that they, you know, they don't, they're not interested in. You know, screwing everybody and bringing everybody but down to zero. There's going to be some kind of wipe. They have to. Yeah, you can't well, inject the way, they, the way they're saying it, they're going to reimburse you for your uh, schematics. And there was no talk about anything else, guy. As much as I would love, as much as I love hearing that, I just don't. Hey, I'm back. I we foresee it. What up? We got raided. We did, Uncle Muscles. What's up, Uncle Muscles? How you doing tonight? Oh, very sorry about that. I was dealing with an issue. Looks. My daughter cannot go to sleep without the dogs, and one of the dogs was hiding for its life under the bed. <laughs> I'm here. I no. promise, I'm here. No, oh, Daddy, no. Yes. The blueprint for the guy that I've got has one data bank in it. Yeah, he's saying it might have been a game issue. Cool. Yeah, I mine to show it too, so... AB, I'm gonna smack you. 
Uh oh, what KB do? Oh, whip. Wipe? No. Whip. Oh, cool whip. Hey, I love hey, cool whip. Uh -huh. I don't eat it, but I love the word. Uh, cool whip? We like cool whip. Whoop it's really fun to play with, too, with your partner. <laughs> as long as she's not playing with her partner. <laughs> oh! <sighs> Well, according to my build out, it says that there's. I am so confused right now. Every time I go, no. Every time I go into build mode on this ship, the engines I placed are gone. Relog, dude. Yeah. Ten dollars says they're there. You got to relog. I mean, it's probably four of them there in that one spot now. Uh huh. I would imagine. You glitched them, man. <laughs> there you go, honey. I need forty bucks, so I'll put forty bucks that they're there. I need forty bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Pay up, Serapis. Serapis ain't got 40 bucks. <laughs> yeah, neither do I. <laughs> That's a lot of sweet tea, 40 bucks. Serapis is making his own sweet tea right now. Sugar ain't cheap. Neither is her sister, Candy. Ooh. Oh, God. So there's the place we bought our first house from last year. It's owned by two sisters. Originally, it was owned by the dad. Sisters are now in their 60s or 70s, something like that. Their names are Candy and Cookie, and that is the names their father gave them. Did they mind them? Oh, they loved it. They thought it was hilarious. Fine, They're but... twin sisters named Candy and Cookie. Oh, my. Yep. I got a sweet tooth. <laughs> Look at that. All four engines are there. Oh, trust me. You do not want to have a sweet tooth for these two women. I was just being a sarcastic act. Yeah, that was terrifying. <laughs> Talk about glitching <laughs> engines in on, on live streams, therapist. They don't know shit, right? <laughs> <laughs> Bampy, if you're out there, I need you. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Run, Bampy. Run. Run. <laughs> run like the queen. So is anybody else having this issue with parts appearing, disappearing after you place them? Yeah, it's a memory, from what I've been told, and I mean, this could be wrong, but it's a memory leak issue. Oh, fuck. Those are so hard to find. That is I'm kind angry. of irritating. The same. And the only, the only way to fix it is to either log or to leave render for a little bit and then come back again. Not like immediately leave and co immediately come back, like leave and then do a few things and then come back. By the way, it's irritating as piss when you stream building. You know what? Huh? When you're streaming building, huh? and the shit you're streaming is randomly disappearing on your ass. That's irritating. I get that KB, but it's been happening for months now that that render issue. Yep. Have a good dinner, Drex. Yep, it was a good dinner. What'd awesome. you have, Drex? Um, I don't know if it has a name. Well, if you put it, it in just... your belly and it was food, it was just. Hamburger, sofrito, peppers, onions, over rice. Yeah. Goulash. Everything goulash. No tomatoes. You had a hamburger with no tomatoes. Weird. What is wrong uh, with you? It was broken up hamburger, not a patty or anything. So you had... Oh, with uh, black beans. We, it, we had black beans in it. Black eyed peas well, so frito has tomatoes in it. Don't yeah, it is. It's tomato-based. It's just... Not enough to make it goulash. 
<laughs> Googly goulash. Might be Bro someone in here actually knows what stuff Rito is. <laughs> uh, broken up hamburger is just ground beef. It is just ground beef. You <laughs> said broken up hamburger. I just said the broken up hamburger said ground beef. Shut up. Touch you. <laughs> just you trying guys, to understand. I just try to understand. You guys have some serious issues sometimes. That's okay. Yes, he does. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the one saying broken up hamburger here. For us in the you... southern hemisphere, it's just mints. Mints, mate. Is that right? <laughs> Here we have minced uh, Minced bait, meat. Pork, chicken. Mmm, good ways. Okay, we got uh, two minutes left on the current 10 million plot to give away. If you haven't already gotten in on an exclamation mark raffle for that, y'all. Cage wins, I call Rick, because he won like the last two or three 10 mils. Yes, was it yesterday or the day before he won the 10 mil from Drax and ten, came into this stream and won 10 mil right away? Perfect. Best bet. Ah. Mm -hmm. This extra small is crooked. My, do I have a ship outside the my little ship? I don't know. You got something crooked, and she's not happy you, about it. Well, I'm pretty sure this thing parked right in front of me. Right, I'm gonna blame you, even though I parked in front of you. <laughs> it's crooked too. <laughs> she's, I know. Just, she's just telling you you're crooked, and she's not happy. <laughs> Yeah, they just, have medication for that now. Ship. I threw it off my ship. I don't know. I think you just got to use the oh, other hand look. for a while. Oh, I'm just <laughs> playing. You don't have to worry about it. Well, it, it, it affects me, too. Oh, wait. Where okay. is it? Uh, hey, links? What is this? Do you see this? Hold on. Hold on. I got this. I got this. There is medication for that now. Nope. I don't see it anymore. There is a dot of dirt. Right There's here. medication for everything now. There is medication <laughs> if you're crooked. Oh no, clean that up. There it is. Uh, are you trying to bury your ship? Okay, look in stream chat and Discord. There you go. Stream chat and Discord. That's the ad for it. That thing comes on TV here all the time. Well, there you go. There you go, Flashbat, just for you. I think I just I saw am an not. ad with a carrot like that. I didn't <laughs> pay attention. The audio was off on it, but... What is, that just, what is KB, he calling me? What is he that, calling me? The Kraken? She's become a tyrant in the last little bit. She's it's yelling at everyone. Me. Make He's the bruises so they ninja. don't show. Yeah, she's, Make she's the bruises so they don't show. <laughs> <laughs> she, I gotta yelling. go to work tomorrow. It's bad enough last time I had to explain the hickeys. <laughs> I told him it was the vacuum cleaner. I don't think they bought it. <laughs> Lord. Therapist gave her power. Take that power. You use it however you see fit. Chaos I like how I'm out. yelling at everybody. How am I yelling at everybody? <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> I didn't hear you yelling at anyone. God. <laughs> I mean, you, you got flesh bed over here crying. I did. I, I did do. I did do drill sergeant for a little while. So trust me, you will know when I'm yelling at you. Oh shit. <laughs> that, that... Did we have to pay extra for that, though? <laughs> I didn't pay at all. <laughs> <laughs> Tips, are right Tips are appreciated. Tips are appreciated. I know Sarah's got was getting asked to get paid to <laughs> so insult my baby. <laughs> uh, hey, I, I, I had his consent. <laughs> That's why I asked her. She says we have to pay extra for it. <laughs> Crazy said, stop yelling at him, Fedge. <laughs> Stop yelling Aww, at me. Oh, poor crazy. Nobody can <laughs> yell at crazy. Come on. Because it's crazy to yell at crazy. So crazy. Oh, crazy. raffles up. Raffles oh, up. Crazy, man. Oh. Raffles up. Here we go. Azar, you won 10 million. Congratulations. Yay, congratulations. Congrats. She doesn't win very often. Nope. Oh, no, she won her first two. one last, what, last week? Something yep. like that. I won't call hacks on that one. I heard that one. Yay. 
That's why I didn't say rigged because Paz doesn't really uh, doesn't win a whole lot. Hey, Pazar, you got ten million quanta in your wallet. Awesome. I was getting money. Sedge did me good last time. I tried. You mean she didn't yell at you? Sedge wouldn't yell at me. <laughs> Where'd this whole Sedge yelling at people come from? I don't know. I'm crazy that my wife would disagree sometimes. <laughs> I'm, I'm fine. She didn't yell at, yell at me. You don't hear this? You don't hear this? You don't hear this? You don't hear this? I told you, I'm Sicilian. It's called passion. I'm just That's right. you. Straight to the point. That's just normal talk for them. Right. Because now we don't have issues or nothing in this Discord. No. <laughs> we are all sane. What are you talking about? Everybody's perfectly fine. Talk to my uncle for the first time ever. No. <gasps> He just recently reconnected with my mother, their uh, half brother, half sister, and he's uh, he's Italian, and, and you know, I'm like, mm -hmm. is he angry? Mom's like, no, that's just the way he talks. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, right. Italians, they freaking, damn, and they use their hands a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my grandpa. Yeah, the funny, the oh. funny part is, you guys don't see it, but there's a lot of times I'm sitting here using my hands, it's just right below camera. So like, I'm sitting here talking and saying things and explaining things. My hands are going to town, and y'all don't actually realize. It looks like I'm on the keyboard or something, but my hands are like... What are you touching with your hands are out of the screen, Mr. <laughs> I don't want to know. We don't need to know what you do on your peripheral time. <laughs> in peripheral time. <laughs> Excellent choice of wording there, bud. Exactly. <laughs> uh, am I fired yet? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Let's get that done. Okay. About time for me to go find my pillow soon. Okay, according to this, my ship is undamaged. I don't know if I believe that. Alright. Um, Drax, I'm gonna come out to your place. Uh, can you send me your coordinates over there? Yeah, I was just about to send them to KB as well, so. Thank you. Because I want that ship. That is a nice ship. Sorry, but I, I really want that ship. <laughs> What's funny is Serapis actually said that he would wanted it back a while ago. Which one's that? The Nightingale. You oh, yeah. Probably aren't far from me, so I'm just going to use my speeder. I remember that one. I'll do a weight test for you, no problems. You wait for it. <laughs> well, I got ahead there anyways, so I was going to bring the... 30 kiloton eh. or... so you're in xvx so i should just be able to send it in the xvx chat that's it party at Zach drax come uh, on everybody dun, 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 dun. my mama said i wasn't allowed to party with people i didn't know i don't have the grand opening yet for the showroom for the showroom but when i, I do mine i said the hell with it <laughs> I, i'm getting stuff moved in there and, and I got them all moved in there. I didn't. I didn't realize how many I had. Uh oh. <laughs> I got a bunch of. I got a couple of salvages that I got the other day. I found. Oh, that's one thing, Taylor. You, you'd forget what I found the other day. Hmm. Adventure Max. Like pancakes yeah. venture. Pancakes Adventure Max was sitting on a tile by itself in the middle of nowhere on Thade. Hmm. I happened to be running around doing a bunch of stuff for my tiles and I saw it there and I just happened to have a core on me. I'm like, guess what's coming home with me? <laughs> yeah, you're coming home with me. Eddie got a new pair of shoes. I don't like the way it flies, but no. it's a really beautiful ship. It needs destacked a lot too. Oh, it has been destacked. De oh, it, that one was destacked already? Yeah, our, well, it was destacked prior to me getting it, but I had to do some fixes on it anyways. Added a few yeah. more space breaks to it, too. It wasn't that bad, though. It was I just the brakes. He slammed a lot of brakes in that thing. It oh, didn't yeah, he need did. as many brakes as he put in it. He, <laughs> was, he was like Fembot, though, and he wanted to overbrake that ship. It had like so 65 Gs. Hearing uh, a certain bird in the background made me, uh, you guys got a funny for y'all. You said you didn't gain a bird. 
No, this isn't concerning that. This is concerning a friend's birth. Learned a new word from a neighbor. Uh oh. So he and he, his mom lives with him because she's in her 80s and has major health issues. He takes care of her. It's him and his four kids and his wife. And then his mom has just moved in recently. His mom is strict Catholic. Okay? Like old school traditional Catholic. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah! <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> screw the Pope. Or his <laughs> wife's brother thought it would be funny to teach the bird a specific string of vulgarities. Which are very anti-Catholic. Because they were all gone for two weeks on vacation and he babysat the bird and stayed at the house. Now so. <laughs> they come back in and this and they walk in like, Oh, how you doing, baby? You know, the whole sweet lovey dovey thing like they always do. And the mom walks around the corner right as the bird just lays into it. Mama, I got new words. Here they are. Yeah, it's <laughs> like I, she would start like, yelling the bird was possessed, they need to have the priest come down, there needs to be an exorcism, it was just like, <laughs> The bird is talking in tongues. It was not good. Oh, crap. Oh, shit, I'm in the wrong ship. Speaking of funny, funny animal things that happened, um, so I was going to stream today, and I got my, I do the same thing, I normally get a handful of puppy cookies, and put them on my desk, and... That way, when I start streaming, someone gives them a cookie. Well, I came in, put the cookies down, went back into the kitchen, get my tea, came back in the room, and all those damn cookies are gone. Uh -huh. <laughs> he didn't want those cookies. He's like, I ain't waiting for the cookie. He got up on he, he He pulled every cookie down onto my chair and ate them on my chair. He said hey, it's just a mess. I wasn't waiting. I, I was talking to Liam, and he said it wasn't him. Five I'm cookies. Have to find somebody else. I, I'm Five pretty sure dog biscuits he wolfed every one of them he, he said it wasn't him he was a good boy and it was and I, I think he inhaled them because i was only in the kitchen for another maybe five minutes <laughs> he got so used to getting those he didn't want to wait that's funny he just thanked those five mm. my stepfather my stepfather never laughed very much when we were growing up but we had this dog named Squirrel, kind of like a little terrier kind of deal. And it was like his best friend. It would sit in the console beside him in the truck and he'd never move. You know, that's just how it was. Mm -hmm. But he always trained him to stay out of the dog biscuits. So one day my mom bought a brand new box of dog biscuits and she sat them down in the kitchen and was doing other things, dealing with us crazy kids, you know, whatever. And my dad walked in the kitchen and there's Squirrel with his ass hanging out of the dog biscuit box and he's just tearing them up. And then he pulls his head out and he looks at dad, looks at the box, flips the box over and pretends like nothing happened. <laughs> my dad Doesn't never mean. stopped laughing the whole day of day. Doesn't mean. <laughs> He just looked at me like, what? <laughs> Nothing to see here. Move along. Yeah. I'm like, what you're looking for. So, yeah. speaking of biscuits, so you know those, anyone ever get those bark boxes or stuff from like Petco? You know, they're, they're like a box once a month treat. Some dirt, certain plat plat places do them. I haven't bought biscuits for a dog in how many years. All right. Well, oh my God. Um, Our, my fiance does this thing where once a month we get this box and it comes with a couple toys and some treats for the dogs and last night tracks. sorry yep oh you're good <clears throat> last night we she went he's like let's go to the store and get you some soup and we'll get whatever and so while we're out we were only gone for maybe because the store is literally a block from the house we were only gone for maybe about 10 minutes we come back and the box is sitting perfectly closed on the table but there are no treats in it at all. So, do you want a nightingale that has zero voxel cost, or do you want to pay for? You want to use voxel? 
<laughs> zero voxel cost. What? So it will deploy with voxels. It just magically generates voxels, but the blueprint doesn't cost any voxels. Oh, Not so to say that on stream, Drax. <laughs> Yeah. I just put it in a box over over at my base, and I figure if there's a wipe, it would just poof it. So. <laughs> yeah, but you're saying it on stream, so they see this, well, they're going to go fix it. Well, he's okay. already put a ticket in. I put a ticket in for it, oh, and yeah, they haven't responded. It, so. Oh, okay. That's their problem. I could though. just delete it and get rid of it. Nah. You got to verify that that's the case. But you I had, like, test it too. I tried to replicate the he situation, did. but I wasn't able to replicate it. Just for some reason, when I created that blueprint, it just didn't cost any voxels. I don't know why. That's hilarious. That's kind of cool, actually. Until he gets in trouble. Oh, that's KB. Come uh, here, KB. We got to run over here. I'm looking yeah. through your showroom, actually. It's kind of cool. Um, right where I sent you the cords? It's right on the deck. Yeah, I've seen it out there. The landing area. It just doesn't really? have any... Um... You don't have and then the nightingale is to the left. If you come out, oh sorry, if you come out the door, it's gonna be on your right, behind the reaper. Two sixty four. Make sure they look at the reaper. He'll buy that too. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like just gotta trade reaper. him the nightingale blueprint real quick, KB. If he's watching stream. I did have the reaper out, Cage. If you looked, it was right next to the nightingale. Oops, sorry. I think I have a reaper one. I think I picked one up. You said you wanted fifteen, eh? Yep. Is it we'll bad that now after making oh. this, I don't want to make it a lift, I want to make it an actual ship? Not really no, a bad that idea. bad? I, have, I kind of like the way it's looking. Mm -hmm. Follow me, KB. I got to link to the container with all the ore. I'm here for the party drags. <laughs> just a container? Has KB seen uh, the Vetteric yet? I think she. I think he has. <laughs> Are you even finished with it yet? Yeah. Damn it! I hate it when I do that. Ancient just won one yet the other day on stream. He won a token for one. In the showroom on the right, towards yeah. the back. Okay. I shall check it out. Mm. I bought a Rhea the other day. I don't know. Yep, the buck's in there too. That's the new new one as well. Now uh, let's get inside the ship. Buck gave us a tour of his enterprise. Oh yeah, I've seen this one. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It was really nice. Yeah, it was. I have like thirty of them. I don't know what the math is on that. I didn't do the math up. What's up, y'all? I'm here for the party, Drex. <laughs> I'm to go build new shit. So I can play with it. can crash it. Hey, Taylor. Where's your booster at right now? Uh, Fembot? I think he's still at your place. That'd be no. very convenient. Wait, no. I think I brought him home. Because I had to go buff Sedges. I forgot I did. Wait, oh, okay. ship or factory? Ship. Ship. Always... My Stratus. I'm at the castle. Yeah, I just have to haul it out there. You give me a second and I can look. I have zero handling skills, so when I put it down, it, it's like stock, stock, stock. Yeah. Grab some of those. Alright, I'm off to Mattis. Uh, You're gonna do some of the other stuff, KB. You can deduct some of the money there and do it if you want. Yeah, he's on my station right now. Do not be colliding! Remove one mil. Remove. Pull one mil hammer. Okay. Gotcha, KB. I'll do it. There you go. 
One more second. Don't want it. There we go. Oh, okay. I'll follow you. See if I have everything. <laughs> Watch me have to go buy something. <clears throat> Hi, Decrypto. Hey, Decrypto. What's up? Like a week. He says, hello. Hi, all. Eight times three is 24. Yes, you did pass math. Seven, Let's look like eight. a bull from the side. That's kind of funny. Eight of those. It is eight. a bull. Um, it's like... Buy two ah, that's so cool. That's kind of cool. It looks like a bull. Even has a tail? What? No way. <laughs> that is. <laughs> that's so cool. What's it called? Multi pass. <laughs> Very bull. Multi pass. Multi pass. You've gone good. Where'd you go? There you go. There you are. I predict a rocket in the center, most likely. What? It's Serapis. It's Serapis. Of course, there's probably going to be a rocket oh. in the center. There's always going to be a rocket. Thank you, <laughs> KB. You might, you might as well just assume. Come here, KB. Follow me. I want to show you this. If Serapis doesn't have rockets, it's a bad day for Serapis. Hey, I resemble that remark. Yes. Yes. You <laughs> we can't say that. Can't say that, KB. You're insensitive for saying that. What? What did KB say? I can't see right now. Just your thing. I think he's he was responding to me saying to follow. <laughs> uh, which way? Which side? Do I follow? It doesn't matter. Here it oh, is. KB, be so insensitive. Yeah. Hey, KB. I, I don't know why y'all would think there would be <laughs> rockets. I don't know. It's a huge mystery. And he goes over to the, the Artemis. The oh, KB. <laughs> the thing is, somebody said thank you we're doing something one day and I said sure thing and apparently that was insensitive that was oh. wait who said it was insensitive <laughs> the switch <laughs> or you, everybody was like oh yeah she sounds excited yeah we were being sarcastic <laughs> yeah they okay it, okay sarcastic uh -huh, she said sarcastic. what maybe it was oh. the way you said it not so much what you said no it, she always has this. <laughs> no. She has this military deadpan tone to her voice a lot, <laughs> and I've gotten used to it. It's just, I, I think it's part of the charm I said. She always has this little bit of a deadpan to her sarcasm and humor. <laughs> I like it. Like I have no wit, but for some reason, when I'm serious, I'm super funny. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. That. See? <laughs> Isn't that what the reason why everybody got in trouble in boot camp when they laughed at their RDCs or their? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Have you? So we made our hat, our drill hat. We made him laugh one time in boot camp, and oh my god, we were in deep shit. You made him laugh. Made... And you got in trouble for yeah. it. You're not Good supposed time. to make them laugh. If they so he so Marines drill instructors, they're the ones Your that sister. wear. <laughs> They wear the Yogi Bear hats, and he literally had to take his hat off, turn around, and walk away for like five minutes before he came back. And all he said to us is, "You're dead." Yeah, and that's usually what happens too. And then that sir, night, sir. He, <laughs> that night he woke us up and fucking PT'd us for like two hours for making we were, him laugh. We were uh, in boot camp. We were being punished or whatever we got we had to spend another week in boot camp actually because a couple of girls decided to 
in the middle of the night, get up and go see a couple of guys in our, you know, company. <clears throat> and uh, so we were getting drilled out on the front. Uh, yeah. Somebody was getting like, drilled out. For, yeah, Somebody we, was getting <laughs> drilled out. We were getting drilled out. <laughs> Uh, in, the, in the front of the, the whatever anyway out front and one of them said something so fucking funny and you know we're just stomping our feet running around you know up down up down all that shit and I just started laughing I, I couldn't help it and he got in my face and yeah that was the end of it. <laughs> made me not laugh anymore <laughs> it's for sure <laughs> made me not laugh I love how she put that hit this sounds so sad. <laughs> That's why she has no happy, sense of like... humor anymore. It died in boot camp. So it basically, died. everyone got drilled that night. <laughs> yeah. No, it's for the next week. Drills. Oh, it's a proper drilling. Yeah, proper. Basically, drilling. he was, the the drill sergeant was like, "You want one night of drilling? Now you all get a week of it." Yeah. <laughs> so bad. <sighs> so bad. So bad. No, one, just what's no. good for one is good for all. You want a drilling? Here's your drilling. I yeah, I bet they probably had jokes like that. <laughs> you know they were having jokes like that back in the their stupid coffee room. I got in trouble for telling my RDC he was an idiot. But the question is, was he an idiot? Oh, irrelevant. No, it just came out. It was in my head, and it came out my mouth. Wow. <laughs> I told that's him. And that's when he knew we he were, fucked up. He stood us all up in front of our racks, and he was asking the, like, the, um, our bars and stuff for certain ranks, like 02, 03, and stuff like that, what was on the combination cover. And he asked me the question, and it happened to be on a poster, on a pole, behind him. And I told him the answer, and he goes, all right. He goes, how'd you know that? And I was like, because it's behind you, you moron. <laughs> and he looked at me, he goes, you're going to make this place rain. <laughs> I'm like, fuck. <laughs> Eight counts, begin. Blood yeah, that's gears. what they're called. Eight counts on the... F on the deck. On the deck. Did you guys yeah. ever have to do dog tags? Walk mm. the dog? where you do a push-up with your dog tags out mm -hmm. and you you have to linger just high enough to make it lay down and then you push <laughs> up to make it stand up and then you lay it down stand it up that's all you're allowed to do that's cool that's painful <laughs> <laughs> that's cool that's like she's like that's cool <laughs> yeah it's i was cool really good at five seconds i was real good at Fuck the dog so i got a question and it's not to be a smart ass or anything. It's just out of curiosity. There are there are women drill instructors, correct? And that's not the question. Mm -hmm. So when they tell you something, I know when a guy tells you something, you say sir, yes, sir. But when a woman tells you, is it the same thing? Is it sir, yes, sir? Is it is no, it something it's different? No, yes, ma'am. It's ma'am, yes, ma'am. Yeah, and yeah. No, actually, in the navy, we didn't sit, we didn't do that. You just say yes, ma'am. There's no ma'am, yes, ma'am. Yeah, there's just ma'am and. That's it. Grab your ankles. I I'll didn't have that in no, the room. I'll tell you, the all, thing is, you know. the weirdest thing was, I never feared the RDCs that were male. It was always the females. Them girls are brutal. See, they I did didn't... not take shit off of nobody. Mine was a uh, um, Filipino, mm -hmm. and she was probably about six foot one. Now, that is rare. Yeah, very rare. She wasn't purebred. <laughs> no, that's not necessarily my, true. Yeah. My wife is um, part Filipino, and she's six. No, uh, she's five nine. So, that's extremely tall too. That's tall too. Yeah. For yeah. A Filipino. The in the Marines, they actually segregate it to the point where if you're a male, you have a male. They do that in the Navy too, but we also drilled with our sister and brother um, companies, um, yep. companies and divisions. But I'm telling you, man, them, them female RDCs, no joke. Yeah. They did not fuck around. See, we didn't even drill. We drilled with our, so Camp Pendleton's pure male. 
there's no females allowed mm -hmm. at, at Camp Pendleton. They're at there. And then uh, Camp Lejeune, they have female, but it's literally segregated off by a big ass wall. That doesn't surprise me. So they don't allow the crossing. That wouldn't happen. Yeah, exactly. It they shouldn't don't, happen. We we don't have that crossing, and on top of that, so I I only ever had the sir yes sir, and then after boot camp, you no longer say that. Yeah. At least for us. If you went out of boot camp yeah. and if you yeah. went out of boot camp and called the captain sir yes sir, they'd be like boot, get the fuck out of here. It depends on the situation you're in, because like if you're in the um, if you're uh, in the pilot's quarter, there there's a different style of how things go up there. Like you don't say that in fleet very often, but it depends on your job and your situation that certain things are expected. I had the worst run in though when I um, I got out of boot camp, got to fleet. I was stuck on base for like. I think three weeks waiting for my flight out to my ship because she was already in the Gulf and they didn't have a flight for me yet. And I was, um, TAD to the security team on base and we were training security and stuff like that. Nothing big, but doing minor gopher shit. And one day it was like three of us, we were walking around the base. It was free time or whatever the case may be. And we were walking around the base. And we came to a street crossing. And now technically you're supposed to stop at the street crossing. The cars are supposed to stop for you and let you walk across. There happened to be a fucking uh, admiral on the other side of the street. And I don't know what possessed me or why. But I'm walking across with my group. I'm looking at him dead in his eyes. He's looking dead at me. Everybody else salutes. I'm just dumbstruck frozen. Oh my God. <laughs> he looks at me. He goes, are you going to fucking salute me? And I'm like, uh, yes, sir. And I'm like saluting like Gomer Pyle on the fucking middle of the road. Like a fucking moron. <laughs> I don't know what the hell went through me to do that. But he came and walked across the street. He's like, you okay? And I'm like, yes, sir. I was like, I don't know what happened. He goes, What's wrong? Gears glitched up? I'm like, something like that. He goes, yeah, don't let that happen again. He goes, we're cool. Starstruck, <laughs> sir. Starstruck, right. sir. <laughs> he was cool about it, but, you know, he had to get on my ass because there was a bunch of chiefs with him, too. You know? He had to show yeah. his position, so. But, you know, What's it was what it was. You do stupid things in the beginning, and then you learn from them, which is kind of cool. I remember when I went to training school, first thing they always asked us is who went all went and got a tattoo. Yeah, they always ask that question. And then they're like, who's the dumbass that got married? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was always the first question was, who got a tattoo? Good. Extra push-ups. Who's, yeah. who, who's, the, who's the next one who got married? Oh, you get extra push-ups. What for? Because you were dumbass. Yeah. They always get you on some of your stuff. Or actually, I'm a... sorry, it was no libo. We got no libo, so no weekend. Um, they they would call it D libo. Remember the ATG guys at? Uh, Must be the budget budget model holy S rocket. <laughs> I don't remember their their official names, but they were ATG, and they would walk around. They're like basically inspectors on the boot camp base over in uh, Great Lakes. Do you remember those guys, Sedge? I did not go to Great Lakes. I was oh, in Florida. Didn't. Oh, you got lucky. Shit. I heard, yeah, I heard, that's where my aunt went was Great Lakes, and I heard it was the worst of the two. Well, we had <laughs> to... Older. They called it steaming when you marched around everywhere. Or if you were doing it by yourself, it's called steaming by yourself. <laughs> and it was dead of winter, now mind you. And at the end of training, after we all graduated, we're all waiting for our orders and stuff. My RDCs came in and they were like, all right, guys, gather around. You guys are all now Navy, blah, blah, blah. So we're all on the same level. We're all the same brothers. We can talk like normal folk. 
He goes, but I got a question. He goes, we do this to everybody. He goes, nobody's going to get in trouble. This is called Amnesty Day. He goes, so tell us what you did wrong and the reason why we want to know so that way we can train better for the next group. He goes, so you guys are all in the clear. You all get free passes on anything you did wrong, period. He goes, as long as it didn't, you know, cost anybody their lives or anything, you know. <laughs> and he goes, so just tell us what you did. So I told him what I did this particular day, which was I was steaming by myself to go to a medical uh, appointment for uh, dental. As I left my barracks, I was walking the correct way. Now, ATG runs around by themselves randomly around the base and they stop recruits and question them, especially if they're by themselves because they want to know where they're going, why they're going, do they have permission to go, and do they have their paperwork with them. And if you can't answer the question, they send your ass back to your barracks room. And then they tell your RDC and all hell breaks loose. Or you're not supposed to be where you're not supposed to be, then you can get trouble. So anyways, it was dead cold outside. It was like a complete whiteout. And here I am walk, marching or walking my ass through snow and ice. And I hear, and halt. And I'm like, what the fuck? And my mind snapped and I took off running. I <laughs> hammered my ass as fast as you could down that street. <laughs> I'm hearing in the background, I said halt, motherfucker. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I ran all the way to the fucking chow lines. To the I know I'm supposed to, but I lack the skill to. Exactly. My <laughs> mind was completely blank at this point. My body just doesn't respond. I don't know why I was running. I Look just was. Dog, yeah. Lex, the towers are finished, and three of the uh, of the landing uh, pads are up there. The large cores are up there. In the dead of winter, you can't tell who's who because you're wearing these heavy ass coats that are black. You're wearing these recruit ball caps. Everybody looks the same. I slammed into a whole group of a different division and hid in them while they were going into the chow hall to go eat lunch. I sat down with him like I was cool, having a lunch tray in front of me while these guys have been looking around for me. We left, and then I hauled my ass back to my barracks. Never got caught. But I don't know why. why. <laughs> and what'd they say about this? They thought that was the funniest shit they ever heard. <laughs> they are like, so you didn't get seen at all? And I was like, they saw me? And they saw me go in or they, you know, suspected I was still in line, but they couldn't find me amongst the group of other recruits. And there he goes, got a question. He goes, which division was it? And I told him it was a sister. Uh -huh. was another, another group division in another ship, which is another barracks across the way. He goes, I'll be back. <laughs> I'm like, okay. So he goes and recants the story to this guy. And he's like, yeah, he comes over to our barracks. He goes, were you the extra guy that we counted? And I'm like, yeah. And he goes, son of a bitch. He goes, I knew we had too many kids in our group. Because <laughs> they I do a count here. every time you come out. Yeah, they do a count every time you go in and out of everything to make sure no one snuck out or in. <laughs> and they don't tell you they do these counts in a lot of cases. So... Yeah, I, I did some ready ass shit in the early stages of my career, but after that, everything kind of fell into place. And you grew was, up. I, I did, but I mean, you like I said, you learn these things, you do your shit, and then life's good. But you, you learn what's acceptable and what's not. Yeah. You learn what you can get away with, and no one really cares. And you learn yeah. the shit you're not allowed to even look at. I learned a lot of shit in the that most folks probably will never do and get away with you know I love I'm coming career, KB though. I wish I didn't get out as early as I did but I did you know it is what it is oh KB KB <clears throat> did KB already leave you he was just down here a second now he, he just poofed he poofed there he is he, he spooked him you? he's at the bowl he spoofed himself He's got the ship that looks like a bull. 
Yeah. Goon has yeah. eyes. Yeah. Has horns, a nose, two eyes, and even a little tail. You know, in him, there's no telling what the hell that thing is or was intended to be. It's the Gotchar's bull. Oh, it's a Gotchar's bull? Okay. Yeah, ah. KB flies the Gotchar ships. Don't you know? I know, KB. I'm sad. You never fly my ships, bro. It's because uh. the rocket fuel is too expensive. <laughs> <laughs> That's because rocket fuel too expensive. <laughs> so, so um, I could go when you're in the navy. Did you say something? This is weird. You said, where did you go when you were in the navy? Oh, where did I go? Um, okay, Orlando, Florida. Then I went to uh, Memphis. Uh, for schooling, and then psh, Meridian, Mississippi, then Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. I flew. I flew your. What ship were you? For my first three I months. I was an air, air traffic controller. The crypto. Oh. You won five million quanta. Airedale. Yeah. Oh, so you're one of my brown shoe friends. Crypto Skellington. There you are. Hey, we got another five million up in chat, y'all. Don't forget, we do have the lottery going right now, too, for the L4 ship. That's the information for that. That is for the Gaia. And it comes with all five ships, two Nimbuses, two cargo pods, and the L4 Gaia. And the 16 large rockets. Wait, KB, was that one? Oh, he got the switchblade from you, Serapis. KB says he flew the switchblade, and then he got rid of it. <gasps> <laughs> wow. Damn, KB, that hurt. So, can I ask everyone a favor? And that's in stream. And, um, can they check to see if they can see my new surrogate for my, my showroom? And can everybody VR over to it just once? The answer is Akuna Matata. Yeah, just a minute. I gotta look to see if it's theirs for me. Is there one in the horizon? Yeah, there it is. That's what I recommend to everyone, even when you get a ship. Always make sure it has a VR surrogate pod and station. Okay, what's Where's the name, name of it? it? Should be... <laughs> um... Come on, oh, brother! Shit, that's not right. That's... <laughs> Why didn't I save? be drag showroom that was weird okay drag showroom got it are you debuting your showroom tonight no i'm just making sure it's everything is set sets up i mean it's it's somewhat done it's just i still got the roof to go on it hopefully it takes you the right one Things are bugged right now, and I was trying to pick up and deactivate the other one, but every time I clicked on it, it said, this is in use. Yep, it took you to the right place. Perfect. All right. I will need to spin it, though, the other direction. That way, when you oh. come out, you're looking into the showroom. Okay, I don't want to look at it, so. Oh, and I deeply appreciate this because I realize that when you disconnect from the thing, unless they fixed it, you have to actually log out the game. I hope that's not true. <laughs> and my ship's sitting out in uh I'm good. PvP space. Yeah, I let me disconnect. Oh, I did. Yep, I let him disconnect. It's okay. all good. It works now. They fixed it. After it ate all my power systems. Yep. Just finishing off the roof, and then I'll finish the front wall out. And I see. That's a lot of lights. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's a lot. Hmm. Okay. And I still need more light. Now, the real question is, for this ship, could I bring the front to a point 
and make it look like a Tiny. shuttle, or should I leave it flat and tray like this? Well, if it's at a point, then you have better resistance on the fire the further out you are with your voxels. Re-entry. Because yeah. right now... I am really close to that front edge, so I'll have to shave it back some. Oh yeah, all safe. Night night, Flash. I know. Night, Flash. Night night. 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 So what do y'all think? Viewers, what do you think? Should I... Paper off the front and bring it to a uh, point like a shuttle, or should I leave it like this? What's the cross section of this damn thing? Sixty four point four meters. Vertical cross section. Hundred and twelve wide. So for an S core, it's actually pretty narrow, as far as height goes. Okay, let's take it back to here. See, now I gotta kidnap the Drax. He's better at figuring out these weird ass angles for the front of this than I am. Oh, Drax! What? <laughs> what? I said I gotta kidnap a Drax. You're better at figuring out these weird front, weird ass front, ass, weird ass front angles than I am. Oh no! Nope, I gotta go further back than that. I'm gonna go back to here. It's not like I asked you to ask to touch you in your no-no square. I just asked you to come help me with a ship run. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Tell me the angles you're trying to do. Look at your screen now. I gotta taper this off to a point. I wonder if it might be better just do a door on this side here and leave that as a cutout. The doors in the front. No problem, Cage. Completely understand. So right now we have the fuel tanks in the back. Everything's in the back. So all I gotta do is add brakes and adjusters to it. Already got stabilizers, leans, and everything. So the body is pretty well. Got to figure out how to do this, which is going to be the fun part. Drax, what was that VR's name again? Uh, Drax Showroom. Oh, it's just a new one. Gotcha. Yep, it's just a new one. It's I just changed the the pad. Point a few more ships. 
put down the Victor and the Victor Geo. Nice. You've been busy. I gotta get a hold of some of mirrors, dis uh, displays, things, so I can put them throughout the, the facility. Gotta add more lights. I think I need you to show me what it is when I get back to the... Okay, that can be our or show which one. Okay. Which one. I'm not there at the moment. I gotta go around and just replace all the dispensers with the new dispenser design. Actually, I think I know what I'm gonna do here. I was tempted to elevate all the M cores in the back, just put them on an elevation just slightly higher. So they stand out in front of the smalls in front. Yeah, that would be pimp. Like these well, elevations on this side are, are fine, but bring those up, maybe double the elevations just so they come out. Yeah, like put them up a little bit in the air and then angle their nose downward so you can see more of it. That's kind of why I put them up against the edge. That way they can get up on the catwalk around the edge and be able to see all the way around them and even jump on top of them if they can't get on top. There's a catwalk up there? I'm missing yeah. It. If you come to any of the corner, four corners, there's an elevator. Take you to a catwalk that leads all the way around the entire thing. At least the back sides and the front, uh, not most of the front. It's, wow, it's a I huge freaking catwalk. I was tempted to cut out a few of these areas and make like a like an extension bridge that goes out to the sides. That would be pimp, dude. To the so side of the ship. Out, yeah, so you, like between two ships, so you can actually walk yeah. out and see either one to either side. Yeah. 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 Oh, there's a gap there. <laughs> oh, what the hell is that there for? couple of chunky monkey voxels too against the wall. Didn't notice them until it is now. Did you update the Artemis? Um I don't know. <laughs> oh, cause you told me that one and said you were gonna update the next one you dropped and I didn't know if you had gotten around to it. That was the plan, and that was the intention. The follow through is what lacks. <laughs> well, no, at least you got you got halfway there. You know, you got something to mod. Ooh, what is this one? Map all over here. The Gold Ridge. That's pretty cool looking. Yeah, it's an M core. It looks like the Falcon and the Rhea had a baby. Yeah. <laughs> the Gold is the ship that I use. Are you building another ship, uh, Drax? Is that what you're doing? No, no, that's just the Gold Ridge, the Gold Ridge, oh. Ridge M Core. Yeah. So I, I have a Gold Ridge that I fly around a lot, but this is the M Core version because I needed something with a, I had a lot more carry lit, carry capacity, and I like that design. So I just made a, an M Core version. I dig it. 
I haven't sold any of them now. I think I sold well, one, in, maybe. <laughs> in VR, otherwise, I would probably have it already. <laughs> I think your showroom is going to help with that. It was mm -hmm. very difficult for me to figure anything out before. Now we just got to wait Ooh. for uh, Taylor to bring over his ships. Place these signs oh. some screens. I thought, yeah. I thought I can do that, but I thought we were just going to do the screens on your thing for the market. Well, thing. We are. Well, we are. Unless you want them to come to your shop, that's fine too. I don't have a shop, so no, they can be there. I'll set up a, you can just set up your, put the dispenser directly on your core. And then the money will go to whoever owns the ship. So my plan was to put all the L cores in the very back. That way, as they're walking through all the all the, the the candy aisles, they have to walk through the candy to reach to reach the the produce to reach the, like the the meat and stuff. So they buy yeah. all the candies. Kind of what a store does is you you as you go into the store, all that cheap easy stuff to pick up is right up front. So kind of what I did here. This is Walmart. Then they put all the stuff that you actually need in the way back, so you have to walk by everything else and have yeah. impulse buys. Right, right. Do exactly. That's what I did. Is I did on this all the when you first spawn in, or if you're flying and land, all like the little S cores and S and access cores and free blueprints are all up front, and then in the back is the the, the meat and potatoes that are that you got to walk through everything to go look at. So. They, they catch your eye and you want to go look at those but on the way through you're looking at everything else good processes there <laughs> processing Needing all these damn uh, custom screens for these are going to be a pain in the ass Yeah, it's just going to become part of the process after this, though. After you get it done the, yep. the first time, it just becomes part of the process whenever you're making a new ship. Yep. <sighs> it's going to be so much work. So I, put, I don't normally sell this one. I've only given them away. But which one's that one? The uh, Victor Geo. I don't remember that one. So it was one I made for a fly-in, and I gave one to Geo, and they're giving away on stream. But it's just um, a little pocket ship that I, I, I recolored black and yellow. Are you sure it's this not, is, is this still compactable? Is it no, not anymore. It's an XS, but no longer compactable because I put on space engines. Oh, okay. Does VTOL quite nice, though? Little Escort Market Runner. Very cool. Alright, I'm gonna disconnect before I do something silly like buy a BP in the VR. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. <laughs> I 
can't I go realize. to a showroom without like you know the reason I go to a showroom. Okay, is there anything I really want? Okay, let's come back when I actually have a ship. Okay, let's. <laughs> I know it's tempting. Throw my blueprints, try to find things out that I can deploy the showroom. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> Tells how you really feel about it. I forgot mining units, the whole fucking thing. Ah. Oh. Brought everything else, but didn't bring didn't money. Bring money I thought that was the first thing you put in your ship. I remember. Yeah. No. Oh, there's the Galileo. I don't know if I should deploy that one now. Viper steel bag. Don't forget to pay for your territories, guys. Good point. I forgot to look. Ooh, yeah, there's a couple I need to pay. I try to keep a few weeks on mine at all times, but, you know, I slip sometimes, so that's a good reminder. I usually mine go out. through and put four mil in every, every, every so often, just add four mil across the board. Downside, it's they all come up available at the same damn time to put four mil in. Yeah, I just dropped another hundred mil into the org wallet for that stuff. Kind of reason why I was selling ore today is just making sure that I can put a bunch of money in. I mean, I know everyone's getting a lot of money here very shortly. I don't want to pre-play, pre-pay a lot of those piles. I got about four million in each tile right now. I pay mine up to six and a half and let it build down. Entrances are in. Uh, 
Is there a way to see on a blueprint who who built a ship or is not on a blueprint? Nope. Never mind. And raffles in my in my chat. Am I? Oh, okay. The crypto, you won five mil. That means you're done for the night, brother. Hey, Vamp. Hello, Vamp. Hello, Twitch. There are. They should all be set up. Which verse? Fades mining units. Um, fortunately, I cannot access these mining units. Okay, I'm running there. Fortunately, I came back. I don't know if it was uh, my username missing from the tag or the tag missing from the units or the construct. No, that's what I came back here to do is put all the tags on it. You're at the, uh, was uh, it loaded? Loaded's uh, mining unit thing? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I see in the distance there. Oh, you know what? Okay, so you're on buffer mat. He may not be on the tag. Hold on. Do this. I gave him the buck. Yeah, but buck can't do anything. That, that's oh. why I'm I'm having to run around and do all this stuff. Gotcha. Because a like gate has to do all of this. Yeah. Sorry, I can't help with that. Okay. I know. My mistake, I would have messaged you earlier about those then. Went with my uh, usernames.
You don't have a VR thing in there. Do you? Uh, I do, in the ship, yeah. Yeah, because you should at least be able to access that VR. Odd. Uh, let's see. Let me VR right back here. no VR name listed in this sheet that I have for these tiles. It should be called the same thing that the tile is. Okay. I guess refresh it because I have typed it on there. Oh crap, I just got rid of it. XBX fades. How you spell? A B U F H I M A T. God, so many damn elements with screw ups on them. This gets irritating. releasing their properties. Mm -hmm. It's irritating to say the least. All right, got access now. I'm sorry, I said you're entering in information into resources sheet, and I hadn't been updating the sheet I had for these other guys, so they couldn't see that info. I oh. fixed it now. Okay. Yeah. Um. If you're able to, you are able to because uh, to start it, right? Yes, I'm uh, calibrating it now. Wonderful. So I know you know what to do and what to pick on each one. So I'll just go ahead and let you do that, right? Yep. I shovel well. I shovel very well. Yes, you do. <laughs> okay, this sheet should be up to date now. Uh, Everybody knows that was a line. Taylor, be the baby bowler. The baby bowler. Oh. Well, he shovels well. <laughs> That was a reference to uh, the movie, right? Yes. I shovel well. Okay. Yes. And now he doesn't feel dumb for making the reference. love how there's only one of them that actually had real powers, real superpowers. Yeah. 
Everybody on Global's like, is Serapis on drugs tonight, y'all? Answer is yes. Ben Stiller is one of my favorite actors. I'll watch any movie with him in it. So I take it you're a fan of the Magnum or Blue Steel. Oh yeah. One of my favorite movies. I used to go to quote every line for that movie. KB, I'll donate to that by... <laughs> In chat, KB said he wants to buy devs come back and fixing stuff. I would crowdfund me <laughs> to, to buy DU. First game in history bought by the players. Could you imagine the changes? Every change you need to go through a vote, a majority vote. <laughs> right. I'm out for the night pass. Night pass. Night pass. And thank you, service. No problem. Have a good night. Well, excuse me, sirs. That's not part of DU's original vision. Well, guess what? What? Well, You're too bad. Fired. That's the vision now. <laughs> it's about to be like, and I want to know what made you think I care. And <laughs> if you don't like it, there's a door here, 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 and here. And, and you are here. Up. This is the mission now. This is the vision now, and this is what we got to deal with. Yes, because. Sometimes shit changes. There are those in the chats and stuff now that will still say, this is nothing like the original, this isn't the original vision of the game, and that's not just the devs saying it, there are players that will say that too. Good night, KB. Night, KB. Thanks for buying New York. I'm not even quite sure what I made here. Doesn't matter. I was just seeing where the orb popped up. Oh, yeah. Puddle Jumper, what's up, Lex?
Uh, what the fuck? Did you have a what the fuck moment? Uh, this is weird. I'm calibrating it, but it's saying zero liters. Go on. Yep, been running into that a lot lately. Still mines the ore though, so. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> I don't know. Doing crazy crap. Well, cause I can't even tell how much. Well, hold on. It's like this is like when it thinks it's on a different tile. Yeah, in fact, two, two, three, I want to wait. Let me run back with this other one. Okay. Oh shit, if I can get out of this hole. <laughs> there are a couple points in athletics there, mister. <laughs> I have zero points in athletics. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so is that the core that this is on? Yeah, these are on the same tile. I see. I see. Oh. Crapola. I'm having the issue where the stuff don't want to move again. So hit we... backspace and hit equal sign. That's Ginger's fault. Therapist. Ginger. When you move something, next time you move something, it doesn't move. Hit the backspace and hit equal sign. All I already right. wasted those charges, so I guess I'll just switch those over to those other two, <laughs> two ones. We'll get some. Oh, uh oh. He went tight and quartz out of these. Well, Ginger will be happy with that. Are they supposed to be just over the line here? Uh, I don't know. Ginger put them down. I'm guessing what we can do, I'll just work on it next week or something like that. Uh, there is another one that's inside his factory, but I can't get to it. So I'll have to uh, talk with him and move that into another part of the tile. So you'll have those to do. Instead of these. Does that sound good?
Um, well, there's one unit popping out of the ceiling here. Yeah, he actually has a doorway to them in here. <laughs> you go in the front gate. Or you can jump over the top. You got it. That's why it looks funny. Yay, first billboard done. Not billboard, dispenser. Oh wait, I gotta hook it up, don't I? <laughs> 25.5, 32, 1.5. I'm, I have one dispenser left. I, I, I sent, I did an order and bought some, but I gotta wait for them to arrive. Hello, resource. Hello, resource. Hey, resource, what's up? So this is the updated Cerberus. Damn it. Oh, it'll oh. be okay. <laughs> I'd love to be able to have a dispenser to dispense a random blueprint. That would be funny. Alright, well, there's not enough for a third one on that iron or coal. Okay. Let me pluck it up. show you uh, where the ones I'm gonna fix real quick but you won't do them tonight these are the ones that are inside yeah I just gotta get them to I just have them pull them out and I'll just put them somewhere else on the tile oh so showing you don't mean a damn thing right now never mind <laughs> well, the corner is from the sheet, too, so... I never said I was any good at this. <laughs> you're fine, you're fine. I'm just... Well, I'm just used to being an ore slave. There's a way we can break in. In fact, you got some elevators? 
<laughs> oh boy. Okay, just make yeah, I'm right, I'm right behind it. you. <laughs> <laughs> just making sure you made it. Floating to the air. Like no animation when you're jetpacking. The raft pull up? Probably. Hold on one second. down here underground yep oh. hey just enter wrap us up lexa Burr, you won five million rats lexi this is the one that has the over 400 one There we go. Not linked. No. Already running? I do see one running. Oh, you didn't start it? One. Oh, so yeah, then that, the, no. The values and 95 left. Wait a second, these are two different tiles. Or, oh, are you? I must have done something. Me. No, no, no. It's, it's <laughs> the lag, or I'm confused. You just said, Are you shitting me? <laughs> I, I had it with all this. <laughs> I got <laughs> two, dude. I mean, it's kind of just thrown down here, so right, if they're not picking up right. Yeah, uh, when Ginger says he wants freaking quartz, he makes sure he just <laughs> give me quartz, you know? <laughs> There's no quartz in these tiles. Like 15 on this one. I know. <laughs> Wait, he's mining right. 15 quartz? I am yes. not. Yes, he was. <laughs> That seems like a waste of a, of a mining unit. Especially when we have quartz and other tiles, don't we? Uh, does, he, does he not know that? I don't think he knows anything about mining. <laughs> I just said. Oh, man. <laughs> so he did what he... Yes. He had. <laughs> yes, he did. I guess we can't blame him for that. No, we can't. If he didn't know. I don't know. Someone set that ball down and tell him what needs to be done. <laughs> no, I just, I gave up the other day. But finally, you know, finally got done with everything. He's got all the pures that he needs for whatever the heck he needs. <laughs> right at his front door. <laughs> There's only 62 coal left on this tile and 88 bauxite. I guess it goes with bauxite, but I don't think that coal's worth it. Okay. So, so, what do you guys think so far? I trust you. What is it? 
know, it can, it's got 10 advanced optimized small containers in it. So it can carry a little bit of cargo. And it's pretty damn light. It's uh, 246 tons total dry weight. I don't know, I just had an idea and I went with it. What I'm at by what is it? Is it just a small hauler, warper? Militarian. A work, little workhorse. Got these up. Okay. Well, that's oh. that's it for tonight. I'm at 62, so that's only half of a mining unit. All right, let's go back to my ship. Pull up. Okay. Oh, looky, we got rocks on the ground. Yay. I used to pick those up when I do my pickups. Now I'm just curious how it's going to fly because I do placements a little weird on this. Let's fill her up and see how she flies. I have faith. That makes one of us. You and George Michael. Huh? Gotta have faith, faith, faith. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> have faith that it might crash. Serapis knows that the fans want to see explosions. He'll he'll deliver, I'm sure. Lost <laughs> in the city. I am curious how it's gonna fly though. I don't think it's gonna like go up in a ball of flames, but I'm curious how it's gonna handle. Ball of flames, ball of flames. Oh. <laughs> I thought more people would join in with me. <laughs> you want your own? I watched Forrest Gump tonight. Did you, did you Lieutenant Dan, you got new legs. Watch uh, Divergence tonight. Burn it down. Nope, well, I lost something at 1600. Oh, this thing got a lot of kick to it. Like a mule? Looks like I can travel at 1500. What an issue. Let's see what she's going to cost going to. I love when you're. 37 warp up. cells. Set up my showroom, clean out some of these ships to set up for the displays. And then you find a whole bunch of warp cells and fuel and scrap material inside the damn thing. You poor thing. Yeah, three warp cells. Found 300 warp cells in that ship. Not bad. 
it's like an old pair of jeans that you're, you're putting in the wash and you check the pockets and you find 20 bucks. That's about 30 trips to your new warp shuttle. Yeah. Ooh, I forgot I gotta put that in there too. Unfortunately, I, I changed out the vertical boosters to uh, two medium vertical boosters and gave the damn thing to Vamp Skull without blueprint it. So now I gotta do the one I have. And... <laughs> oh no, well, I can bring it back. That's okay. I can. I just change out the vertical boosters on the one I have. I needed it to anyway. Those things handles really well. If I can fit that package in this thing. Which what? The mission I just picked up from you. Uh oh. <laughs> Hundred tons? No, it's not gonna lift it. <laughs> which one did you? Which one did you get? Uh, your. I don't know what it is. What, what location? Name? Oh, Market Six. Ah, uh, that's the dispensers. The hundred dispensers. Wait. <laughs> that warp shuttle's not gonna lift this. No, 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 no. I won't work that. I won't look that. Oh, did you already accept it? Yeah. Why? Do you need me to come there? No, no. I, I just, uh, I was going to bring the shuttle over to him in the, at the same time. He wanted to blueprint it. That's not, I have a, a warp shuttle here. I can just, I got to toss the new things on it anyway. Who's here? Oh, demonstration. Hi, Dad. Oh, is there some holding? Cute. I'm about to blow it up, y'all. Or maybe not. I don't know how the hell I pulled that off, but okay. Nothing's broken yet? Oh, there's some parts broken, alright. He recovered good. The legend. <laughs> What's up, Drag? What's going on, Death? Hey, man, how you doing? Oh, he serves. Lots and lots of stuff. Working on showroom, redoing the warp shuttle. So yeah, that was interesting. She definitely likes to carry a load, though. She's got a lot of oomph for being empty. She's got two rare military atma larges on her. Two standard medium boosts should probably be enough to lift this warp shuttle. Yeah, I think so. Also make it cheaper. Yeah. You would only need to find... Hard to find boosters. Thought I started one. I apologize, y'all. There you go. It's up. What's going on, Def? How you been doing? Mm. All right. Oh yeah, it's plenty enough. Warp cells like... being sold at forty nine ninety nine. Where at? Oh, three tracks. Oh, hi. a thousand. They're only a thousand. A quantity of a thousand. Somebody's yeah, flooding the market. The, you can't bliss more than a thousand of something right now. Really? That sucks. What are we doing, Lex? Oh, I miss KB's good night. 
he took a stab at me. Well, that's rude. Darn. You were racing me, whoever did it. Me. I got a couple of them. <laughs> I think I everybody in stream was racing you at that point, though. I wasn't. <laughs> I couldn't grab any, I was flying! Uh, I grabbed... I grabbed another 2,000. What? You bastard. Okay, y'all, so what do you think about the new little S4? Uh, apparently I can't go in build mode. I'm getting internal server errors now. I think Dan is telling you what they think. telling you what they think of your new S core. No more building for you. I can see that. All right, Lex, I lost you. I don't know where you went. Right next to you. Okay, so opinions. I got one does the journal server error greens on me. Okay. That was weird. I got an error there. Oh, okay, you were you were invisible, that's why it wouldn't let me do it. Oh. Alright, go ahead, try trading again. There it goes. Yeah, you're invisible. Every time I clicked yes, it would like your trade partner's currently unavailable. What are those? You didn't need to bring me those. How much do I owe you for those? You do have a style, Seraphis. I do? Yeah, I kind of like the general shape of it. Similar to some other builds that you've done. Thank you, Lex. I appreciate that. I don't know. I like my S cores as low profile as possible. Yeah. So, hey, Def. Yep. So, if there's any um, ships for Ravenstone available at the at the Ravenstone, you're more than welcome to bring them over and put them in my showroom. Yeah, nothing flies. I know most of them are copied onto the main core, so they they're not ships anymore. Oh, cool, they did fix that. I don't have those in my inventory, right? Okay, I don't. Weird, she lifted just fine just a second ago. Where where did Vega go? Vega's over on the. If you go east, she's oh, off the. 